Hi Gemini and welcome to your tarot video scope for January 2016 uh, by AMA. You may reach me at amalightworker at gmail.com or amalightworker.com. Uh, this will be just a general reading, so if you do like to schedule a private reading with me, uh, please do reach out uh, through the website that I just mentioned, amalightworker.com. Uh, I could open your Akashic Records for you, tarot readings. I also do energy clearing, uh, Reiki work, which can be done in person or uh, at a distance uh, and let me remind you that mercury will be re retrograde from january 5th to january 25th and the shadow period will be two weeks before and two weeks uh, after that so without further ado let's move on to uh, your reading gemini i'm immediately picking up in stability being reached after maybe being shaken uh, for a little bit a uh, new uh, some sort of a sudden uh, breakthrough news and a big change or a movement forward and something that has to do with your legal and financial uh, matters so let's break it down one by one in the position representing you you have the four of wands and the four of wands to me is a card that denotes success with further or more work to be done this is a minor, minor tri a trial that could be uh, related to some sort of a home or a family uh, matter so the reason that it showed up for you is because um, some problems around home or with some family members it could be an old problem for some uh, of you or even a new problem that is going to happen in January so having to go through some uh, difficulties and some challenge with your uh, home uh, mostly then after we have to work through these uh, challenges everything is going to be resolved and you are going to reach this uh, stability maybe you need to work on uh, something to fix around uh, the home that shows up out of nowhere that needs uh, repair but uh, again as I said having to go through this challenge then you are going to be um, uh, stabilizing the situation um, you are going to have to go through some repairs. Also, I also keep getting the feeling that maybe not getting along or having some problems communicating with a family uh, member could be presenting a challenge uh, for you in January. But again, you are going to be able to sort out through all of this in order for uh, you to gain some much needed stability in your family and in your uh, home uh, the second card that you have in this uh, reading uh, in the position of what could be crossing you you have the Sun and the Sun is a great card to have because it denotes accomplishment uh, success uh, marriage union a good news being treated with uh, and with respect by others others do recognize you as a figure of great authority of great uh, knowledge a person uh, uh, to go to this could also uh, be that maybe the spotlight is uh, on you uh, all the attention of uh, your family members and your family could be evolving ar around you to celebrate uh, you for one of your um, uh, accompli accomplishments uh, so the reason that you showed up for you is because you could be receiving some sort of a good news especially related uh, to your health so having to go through some challenges with your health now your energy level uh, is going to go up so maybe some of you this could also be a vacation this could also be you planning uh, for a vacation now this vacation for some of you could happen in January but for other ones it could happen in the next uh, six uh, months maybe having to resolve some uh, family problems but also some partnership problems this could be uh, partnerships in love or in a business and finally having to reach that agreement and this is the source for this celebration uh, and this success uh, for some of you the next card that you have in this reading you have the seven of one of ones and it falls in the on the position of what's above you and the seven of ones to me denotes you are not uh, sure about the results, but nevertheless, you are taking on this uh, challenge. So prepare um, uh, to fight, prepare for some difficulties if you want to bring home this success or this uh, victory. 
Also, another uh, important warning that comes with this card is also be aware of others who want to take this success, this victory or this opportunity uh, away uh, from you. So you are uncertain of the outcome, but the advice is prepare for, the, for a challenge. Take on this new challenge or this new responsibility nevertheless. So you are going to run into some communication problems. This is the feeling that I'm getting why this card showed up for you. Uh, you could be resolving some old uh, issues, maybe people from the past showing uh, up and having to work through some communication uh, problem. But this is not only an old problem for some of you, this could also be having to go through some delays. Maybe, maybe the right people didn't get the right message at the right time. There is some confusion in here around timing of uh, something, uh, setting up the time for important meetings. So pay attention to, to that, especially some uh, miscommunication related to your travel uh, plans. So double check your plans, prepare for some uh, challenges. And no matter how late or how uh, you could be towards uh, something or prepare for these delays. Nevertheless, this deal or this situation or this trip is going to be uh, possible uh, anyway. But prepare yourself uh, for that. This could also be winning a, a competition for some uh, of you. In the position of what's above you, you have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is another great card to me because it denotes sudden breakthrough, sudden uh, success. Uh, this is a new beginning, maybe in partnership, new beginning in your career, new beginning with jobs. So it could be also a new beginning in uh, love. And this, after having to go through all of these challenges, there's suddenly when you thought that this uh, deal is over or this partnership is over, you could be receiving that, um, uh, that uh, success. So this is also, I also have the feeling that some of you Geminis, and you know who you are, you can easily identify yourself through your reading. Some of you already had these challenges, communicating with a love partner or a business partner. Uh, especially in the last three to six months. So this is finally the two of you reaching out to that agreement uh, that or a successful uh, separation or a successful sentiment in order for the two of you to kind of uh, part ways in a um, professional or in a successful uh, manner. So this is not going to apply uh, to all of you, only to this particular group of uh, Geminis. In the position of the recent past, you have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups to me is a card that denotes uh, Pisces, Cancer, or uh, Scorpio. So it denotes um, a mystical woman. Well, she's highly uh, intuitive, creative, and uh, spiritual. So I have a feeling that you are going to feel the need in January to be to go within, meditate, reflect on your feelings, how you are contributing uh, to a situation with your negative thoughts, how you can uh, change the way uh, you feel, maybe having to deal even with an uh, addiction that you have toward uh, a, a certain uh, feeling. So I also have a feeling that in order for you to have it, to deal with these emotional issues, having to go through emotional healing, maybe you are going to seek advice from a professional. Uh, so healing through healing the chakras uh, comes to mind right now that I'm uh, looking at this uh, card. So that is. Uh, what's advisable for you to do in January in order for you to having to deal with the um, uh, health or emotional problems. So do some energy uh, work uh, and open up more your uh, heart chakra. So balancing uh, your chakras comes, um, it's going to happen in uh, January 2016. So also pay attention more to your emotional health if you do want to prepare your body and prepare yourself to also change uh, your health, your physical uh, appearance and uh, to feel more uh, successful. 
So having to deal with even with depression for uh, some of you through these methods that I just described, energy healing, Reiki, and uh, chakra balancing and healing. In the position of the new future of uh, the uh, of. <laughs> In the position of uh, the future, you have the star. And the star is a great card to have because it denotes a wish uh, comes uh, through. So um, it denotes hope, faith being restored, important messages coming to you uh, in your uh, dream. This is finally, after having to go this uh, through these challenges, finally being able to find that balance, balancing mind, body body and spirit, reinventing yourself, feeling like uh, you are a uh, new uh, born. So at least one wish that you prayed for is coming to you in your dreams. It is also advisable that maybe you keep like a dream journal and you write down your dreams and your wishes for 2016 because throughout the year you are going to find yourself that at least one of these wishes is going to come uh, uh, true. Some of you could be very inspired to uh, do something creative. So this inspiration and these uh, brilliant ideas are going to come to you through sleep or through a meditative uh, state. So let's move on to the next card. In the position of your attitude, your internal feelings, you have the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords to me is a card that denotes wish being granted through financial or government uh, institution, legal institutions. So uh, Six of Pentacles. So some of you have to go through through some uh, legal matters having to deal with uh, courts. Maybe you did apply for a license or certification, anything uh, like that. For some of you, is like uh, finally the result of some court proceedings or legal proceedings that you undertook in the last uh, six uh, months. So this is that wish being granted. Uh, the advice is apply now for anything financial that uh, you think that you qualify, like uh, reimbursements, um, loans for your studies, financial uh, aid. This could be a settlement finally uh, taking place and that money coming um, to your bank uh, accounts. This could also be being approved for extending your credit uh, limit. So anything like that, being approved for some legal uh, rights and some financial settlement and negotiations uh, to take um, uh, place. Provided that you already applied for it, you ask for it, or uh, the advice is if you want any of these things to go through, apply now. In the position of the environment and how uh, uh, people uh, around, people in the environment around you, you have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords to me is a card that denotes being grateful that the wars did not happen. Having to go through a dreamlike or a meditative state. Having to go uh, within. So it's going to prove to be very beneficial in the midst of this um, new developments that you have in your life. Look for that answer and then get in touch with your own uh, true inner feelings. I also have a feeling when I look at this card that maybe some of you are holding on to some inner emotions like a secret. Maybe not wanting to um, reveal everything that you're going uh, through to, uh, to others. Holding on protectively to also some uh, secret feelings or some uh, secrets. So there could be some issues around um, secreting in uh, January. Maybe you suddenly find out secrets around uh, a loved one or you could be the one holding on protectively to some uh, secrets. So this is not going to apply for, to everyone to uh, Gemini's out there, but this is what uh, well, this is what my guides are uh, ta uh, telling me. So this is the feeling that I'm getting for some of you through the Four of uh, Swords. So whatever it is, feeling grateful because the worst uh, won't be happening. In the position of your uh, inner emotions, hopes, fears, and wishes, you have the Nine of Pentacles. 
And the Nine of Pentacles is a card that is not so good because emotionally or it represents sadness, uh, grief. Uh, sometimes it represents physical pain and uh, anguish, no sleep, worry, anxiety. So... Uh, you could be changing your sleep patterns. Again, some of you could be pulling off uh, out, out, um, uh, long nights uh, to work, to complete uh, some uh, project, to work towards something. Having uh, a little bit of a hard time uh, falling asleep or staying asleep. So your anxiety level is going to be on and off. Even when you receive this sudden breakthrough, this uh, joyful news... It's going to come with a little bit of anxiety about the new thing or the new beginning that you are for about to take in uh, 2016. So the advice is that the situation is not as bad as uh, you make it. You are blowing up the situation out of proportion in uh, your uh, mind. You are going to find, so the advice is, my guys are keep telling me that in order for you to balance this anxiety, uh, more physical activity is advisable. So balance out this worry or this anxiety through more of a physical uh, activity. It's going to serve you good not only in your emotional uh, body to balance out your emotions, but also to uh, work towards some uh, health, um, some health uh, issues. It's going to also uh, increase your energy uh, le uh, level in your physical uh, body. So, in the position of the outcome, you have the Six of Swords. So, the Six of Swords to me is a card that denotes mental or physical travel. Expect some challenges on, on the way, but uh, nevertheless, you are moving forward toward a new beginning, toward uh, a new uh, idea, uh, a new place could be for some of you. So you could be traveling in, uh, uh, in uh, January, but for some of you, this could also be a career movement or an actual change of homes. So whatever the case is, expect some uh, delays and some complications to happen as you go through uh, these uh, changes. But nevertheless, uh, everything is going to be resolved. So this is you changing everything in your life. Work and uh, making that journey toward a new beginning with a new, different, much more positive outlook in your life. So it seems to me like new. This could be a business trip for uh, uh, some of you or a trip related to expanding your uh, career or your uh, education. So uh, brand new beginnings are in the making that eventually are going to take you to a much better place in uh, your life. Whatever these changes uh, could be for uh, all of you. So let's move on to your Akashic messages for January 2016. If you do want these Akashic messages to make sense for you, it's very important that you subscribe. So this way I can get Akashic messages for you. These are going to be messages and guidelines that are meant for you to kind of follow uh, right now at this point of your life. And I hope you do follow them if you do want to find uh, uh, prosperity and success. So Gemini, January 2016, Akashic messages. You are dealing with some depressed feelings. You feel down. Gemini, remember, sometimes you let yourself down. Be prepared to deal with some seasonal allergies or problems related to a, to a weather change. Relationships are hard work. Don't take them for granted. Be more social. Out and about, if you do want to attract greater love, single Gemini. So this particular message was especially designed for single Geminis. You could hear from someone with whom you connected two or three months ago. If you are meeting someone now in January, you want to hear back from this person for a while, uh, for about uh, two or three months. After, the, uh, after two or three months, this person could show up again in your uh, life. If you don't ask for work, it won't be given to you. Start asking now for a job, 
uh, asking for more hours at a job or start applying for a job send out your resume now even if you don't need a job but uh, even if you are looking for a career change you will be surprised by the feedback that you will receive luck is on your side especially related to jobs and careers so that was the end of uh, this uh, message again please reach out to me if you do need to schedule a private uh, reading with me amalightworker.com or amalightworker at gmail.com in the meantime uh, let me remind you about Mercury Retrograde again from January 5th up to the 25th and have a great month. I'll see you next time.